Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a uh, short video about this Mitotoyo 6-inch machinist scale or rule. I was corrected about being, uh, these should be properly called scales. These are these very thin, just small 6-inch rulers versus the, what would be, 3 quarter inch wide rigid machinist rules. These are sometimes called flexible rules. And I picked up this Mitotoyo because it was both uh, metric and imperial in the same rule. I had actually done a review of this Starrett comparing to a bunch of others and showed how nice the Starrett was, particularly with the uh, very high definition of the graduations or the tick marks. And somebody had mentioned uh, this Mitotoyo, and so I went ahead and picked it up, but I do like it. It does tenths and one hundredths on one side, and it's designed to flip over easily, and then it's, of course, metric, 15 centimeters, 150 millimeters. I guess the only uh, thing I would mention is they probably should have put a few more tick marks just because there was more space on the end of the ruler, they didn't have to actually mark that number. But if I was measuring something that was 152 millimeters, you got to squeeze that in there. I guess that'd be the only criticism. I believe that's a manufacturer date 2007, although I bought this new, I'm not entirely sure. So that's really the deal, is I just picked up this uh, Mitotoyo to go along with the Starrett, uh, just to see how it is. I kind of like, I kind of like a mix of both of these scales mainly because I like the way the Mitotoyo is of course dual reading and I do like the deep black uh, printing on the Mitotoyo. To tell you the truth uh, it kind of depends on the situation. The Starrett has really deeper embossing. Actually I'm not entirely sure if the Mitotoyo is embossed or if these are laser etched. They feel like they're embossed but it's certainly not as deep as the Starrett. You can just really feel that and that's what I do like about the Starrett. But I do like the easy read readability of the Mitotoyo, although I think the numbers could be just a little bit larger. Now, with just fractional or with just imperial ones, you get tenths and hundredths decimal imperial on one side, and then you get fractions, 30 seconds and 60 fourths on the other side. So that's what they've done with this Mitotoyo, is they just took the fractional side and made it metric. And so that's always kind of handy. It's nice just to have one of these real precision rules. Because a lot of times they're all the accuracy you could ever need if you're like pressing on a bearing or something like that. Maybe not in all situations like with pressing on bearings. But they're definitely just really convenient when you really want to have a nice accurate measurement. Anyway, I'm going to get these under the microscope. Let's take a look. Okay, now we have the Mitotoyo here. And we're just going to take a quick look at it. I was noticing there's a little printing error, a little squiggly off the O there, but super high definition, definitely just an excellent uh, roll. You can just see just how super sharp these markings are. Uh, super nice definition along the tick marks on the hundredths. So those are the finest tick marks. I guess the one thing about the, the Mitotoyo is if we tilt it up here, it just doesn't have quite as deep uh, etchings as the Starrett does. I guess that would be the one real difference. I don't know if one's really better than the other. And just for comparison, here is our Starrett. And we can see that uh, really about the same definition between them both. Actually, maybe the Mitotoyo is just a touch sharper. and uh, But both are really pretty darn close. So anyway, that's uh, my little review of this rule. It's pretty nice. I really do like it. And it was only, it actually was like 12 or something like that, maybe 15 bucks. So it wasn't a bad price. But I always like small little precision tools like this. I think they're pretty neat. And so it's definitely a nice match to uh, go along with the Starrett. And really, my ultimate recommendation is it depends on, you know, what your preference is, whether you like the, the printing with the not quite as deep a roll stamping, or maybe the Starrett, which does the Starrett looks harder to read on the camera but when you actually have it in front of you it's pretty easy to read and i do like that about it if, if you actually tilt it you can see it becomes very clear and i do like that more matte finish a little bit well i'm collecting a few more of these rules from various manufacturers just because they're cheap and then i'll do a big comparison at some point so anyway nice little rule they're still made in japan and Mitotoyo is essentially the stare at of japan so they are excellent quality and they do make some amazing equipment. And a fun fact, I used to work at a community college, and one of the things I did was uh, write up a, a grant proposal, which was approved. And part of that grant was a $10,000 Mitotoyo digital hardness tester. So that's kind of uh, equipment Mitotoyo makes. And I actually seen or ordered one of those big, that big tester. 
and it was pretty amazing. Came in uh, just a whole shipping crate and a big vacuum sealed bag. It was just amazingly packaged for that piece of equipment to come over from Japan. So anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.